hit the bell icon when you subscribe so you'll be notified every time I'm on YouTube. Hi, I'm Allison, and on today's Hot Tools How To, we're learning how to choose the right barrel size for your curling iron. The answer really depends on the look you're going after. For example, if you want to create loose curls, you'd want your curling iron to be one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch in diameter. For smaller, tighter ringlets, go with a three quarter inch or a one inch iron. As you can see, Mickey is using the new Hot Tools Signature Series one inch gold curling iron to create some gorgeous tousled curls. This iron has a variety of heat settings to match your hair type because you don't want to damage your hair. As you can see, even though her hair is fairly straight, it doesn't take long to really transform her look. All it takes is you and the Hot Tools Signature Series because everyone deserves beautiful. Hello everyone, today we are going to introduce you 5-in-1 curling iron set. This is 32mm iron. These are 25mm iron. One with clip and one is bead shaped. This is 10 to 19mm curing iron. And this one is 19mm with clip. It include two hair clips, which is convenient for hold your hair, and also with the anti-scald glove to avoid scorching. Rotate this part to unlock sign. Pull out the tube. Put on the tube and rotate middle to lock sign. Don't forget to put on the anti-scald glove. This is on off button. Temperatures can be changed by press the up and down button. You can see the temperature on LCD screen. The highest temperature is 230 degrees Celsius. And lowest is 80 degrees Celsius. Celsius and Fahrenheit can be switched by press the temperature up and down button at the same time. Do not choose too much hair when curling, because it's easier to curl with less hair. After 8 to 10 seconds, loose the curling iron gently, 